In this video on MPLAB visual debugging with the MPLAB data visualizer, we're going to be looking at the CDC UART interface and looking how we can plot multiple variables or variables of more than eight bits. We continue with the example used in the first video on the CDC UART interface. MPLAB data visualizer is able to implement the data streamer protocol. We're going to be discussing what this is, what do you have to put into your embedded application? And then how do you configure this and make it match in the data streamer wizard in the MPLAB data visualizer? But let's have a look at what this protocol is. So the data stream protocol is a simple one-way communication from the embedded application to the PC. The embedded application is in control of when to send data. There's a user-defined payload, which can contain several variable fields, and you will decide how many. Each packet is framed by start and end token, uh, which are the inverse ones complement of each other. And the data visualizer synchronizes both on the framing tokens and on the payload size. So for example, in our application, we'll use a frame token of 0, 3, and then the end token by definition has to be FC. We'll send an 8-bit ADC value, a count value, also uint8, and a UN16, which is the 10-bit ADC value. Let's dive in. Okay, so here we are in our project. We already have a UN16 essentially here, which is our 10-bit ADC result, as well as a UN8. So we then load our duty cycle with our 10-bit ADC value, and we are streaming our 8-bit value onto the UART. So essentially what we said we were going to do was pick a start byte of our protocol of 0x03, and then using 0xfc as the end byte. So now we need to put the low byte of our 10-bit ADC. So we could, of course, go in here in this particular instance and just use the ADC result low and result high. However, let's show you the general principle first. So ADC 10-bit, we're going to end it with the um, lower 8 bits and here um, shift it 8 to the right so that we get the high byte. The last thing we wanted to do was actually add count. So need to just add a uint8 type of count, just set it equal to 0. And um, here that should come up as an option. And plus plus. OK, so now in the MPLAB data visualizer, we can connect if we like. Um, but we're going to plot. And instead of raw, we select the data stream protocol and give it a protocol name. Let's call it LED PWM. This is similar to typically our project name fields, ADC 8 bit, and that was a UNT 8. It was count, which was a UNT 8, and it was ADC 10 bit, which was a UNT 16. Okay. So a decoder, which is the particular data stream protocol applied to this project, and there can be multiple of them. Anyway, so let's just call it decoder one and plot. So we have yet to actually program our part. So let's do that. And as we program, you can start to see values appearing. Uh, let's make it easier to see and use the light theme. And um, I'm going to zoom out. And just to get a sense of what's happening here. Ah, so our count, this must be our count value. And uh, it seems to be going extremely slowly. Plus, plus. Ah, because we have a delay. So we don't want to have a delay um, when we're using this protocol now. Um, so we'll remove that and export again. Okay, and 
no going back, we're getting more of the behavior that I'm expecting. So as I click on any one of these, I can adjust the size. And this is what I'm wanting to do with the different variables that I have. Um, and moving to the limits of each, I'm more able to to adjust and space space bar to stop. And so using the scroll wheel to adjust, let's make the yellow one smaller because this is the um, to keep the two in proportion with each other because this is the 8-bit value. Going on again, you can see now we have an 8-bit value, a 10-bit value, and a count variable. In the next video, we'll create a basic driver for the data streamer. And the point of this will be so that we can demonstrate the use of project configurations in the video after that, which will be a really easy way for us to toggle between printf debugging and using the data streamer.